Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. There's a Triceratops in the treehouse. Amazing dinosaur facts brought to life by Alexi Bitskov and Ruth Simmons. Triceratops was a big plant-eating dinosaur with three massive horns on his head. He lived around 70 million years ago, several millions of years before the first humans appeared. But just imagine, if Triceratops was alive today, how would he cope with modern life? What if Triceratops joined a soccer team? He had sturdy legs for racing up and down the field, but he might pop the ball with his sharp horns. With his three-foot-long horn the size of a hockey stick, Triceratops would be great at ice hockey. What if Triceratops went to the dentist? It would take the dentist all day to check his teeth. Triceratops could have up to 800 teeth in his mouth. What if Triceratops took the train? At 30 feet long, Triceratops was almost the size of a train car. He wouldn't fit in with the other passengers, but he could travel in the freight car. What if Triceratops went on vacation? With a sharp parrot-like beak, Triceratops could easily crack open coconuts. They would make a tasty drink for everyone on the beach. But Triceratops would rather munch on palm leaves. His sharp teeth were perfect for slicing them up. Was Triceratops taller than my dad? Triceratops was much taller than any human. His skull alone was taller than your dad. It was eight feet long. A baby Triceratops was much smaller than its parents. Its head was only slightly bigger than yours. What if Triceratops went on a school trip? He would have a lot of fun, especially at a castle. He could pretend to fight like a knight. Triceratops wouldn't need armour because his thick skin was good protection. He wouldn't need a lance because he had two long horns on his head. And he was bigger than any horse. What if Triceratops took a ride in a hot air balloon? It would have to be a very big balloon. Triceratops weighed almost five tons. That's as much as 200 children. What if Triceratops got too hot? Animals keep cool in different ways. Humans sweat and dogs pant. But Triceratops would use his head frill to cool down. Blood flowing to the frill carried heat away from his body. He just had to find some shade or a nice, cool breeze. What if Triceratops came to my tree house? He'd be too big and heavy to get in the tree. And his thick legs and chunky feet would make it hard to climb the ladder. But he'd help you all get down. Triceratops skeleton. Everything we know about Triceratops comes from fossils. Skeletons that have been in the ground for thousands and thousands of years. This means that we know a lot about dinosaurs, even though no one has ever seen one. Thank you kids for listening and learning, and I hope to see you in the next video. Always remember, be good and kind. Bye for now.